good morning, babe. Hey. I had to, make, I had to check the time. Good morning. Good morning. It's still morning. Camden, say good morning. Car seat wires. Say good morning. Both of their middle initials start with a J um, to copy basically their dad. A lot of people, a lot of people assume that TJ is a junior. I shared in my last video, he's not. Carson. He is not a junior. His um, first name and middle name start with a C and a J and that's how he put it together, CJ Tilly, and asked to be called CJ growing up. So. That's that, and that is why both of our sons' names start with a C. Um, Carson turned 10 months on the 22nd of April. Yeah, 22nd of April. Um, we just gonna go over Carson head to toe. So, first of all, he was born on Wednesday, June 22nd. I was 39 weeks pregnant. Um, he, The pregnancy was like, I was at the end of my pregnancy and I was over it, but long story short. And so I asked to be induced um, and they induced me. They scheduled the um, induction for June 22nd, 2022. I thought that was so cute. I was like, that's the perfect date. And so we had him that day. And basically, yeah, the rest was history. So, um, we went to the hospital that day. I started like laboring at like eight o'clock a.m. So yeah, uh, Carson was born at, um, I think it was like, I don't even remember. I feel like a horrible mom. I think he was seven pounds. I'll find out before I post this video, but he was like seven pounds and I want to say four ounces, seven pounds, four ounces. I, all of my babies were not like huge. They were like average. He might have been six pounds and 13 ounces. I don't know. All of the babies right now are mixing together in my head. If you want some more snack, here. Okay. Carson, um, he, what, he is a great baby. Like he sleeps with us, so we co-sleep. He's been breastfeeding since day one. Never had any issues with that immediately latched on. So I'm so happy that we made it to the 10th month breastfeeding or nursing and he will be finished at one year old. I will not probably be going past um, one year of nursing. Just simply, I'm kind of over it guys. I'm over it to be honest. And I want to get back to being able to like focus on myself pretty much and like working out and stuff. And honestly, when I work out and like with what I eat and stuff, I have to be mindful of that so that I can make sure that I don't affect my milk production. So that piece of it, um, with Carson, his, he had hair when he was born, beautiful hair. Yay, Carson, yay. He is into clapping now, but um, he had hair. We tried for the longest to keep his hair from falling out in the back. I would put jojoba oil on his hair like multiple times a day. Anytime I noticed it was getting dry, I still do the same thing and that's why it's kind of growing back in. I'll show you guys the back. See, it's growing back in. Um, But yeah, I use jojoba oil on his hair um, and yeah. I started braiding this up because it was longer than the rest of my mom and siblings and stuff was like, like stop braiding that piece of hair. So I stopped. Um, 
Carson's eyesight, his hearing test and everything is good. I do believe he failed one of the hearing tests in the hospital, they had to redo it. The second time, it was perfect. Um, he's only had one ear infection, which was like last month since being born. And it was, he kind of had like a sinus infection. Um, it would not go away for the longest. And so I think it turned into an ear infection. He had to get antibiotics and that knocked it right out. So, um, what else? Uh, Carson has four teeth. So he has two up top and two down bottom. He loves taking off one sock. So one sock he takes off. He is 19 pounds. He's 19 pounds now. What else about Mr. Carsey Barcy? He crawls very fast. Um, he knows how to pull up. He knows how to climb upstairs already. Of course, with us monitoring him and behind him. Um, he will not stand up on his own. Like I think he's nervous or scared that he's gonna fall over. Um, he hasn't started walking or anything like that. He enjoys music and dancing. Go Carson! Go Carson! Let's see. Go Carson! Go Carson! Carson. And he's very... What's the word? He's very curious. A little curious. He's into everything. Everything. More specifically, um, if I have something plugged into the wall and it's like a big like plug or whatever, he is going to be attracted to it for whatever reason. Um, he's also very headstrong. He does all of this. So we love it, guys. Um, he does a word. So he says, mama, dada, bra, bra, crew, crew, which is our dog. Um, he, I haven't heard him try to say Taylor's name as much, uh, but he's with Camden every day, pretty much like during school hours. So they are super close. They love each other so, so much. Um, what else is that? He says more. He says all done. Uh, he's a very happy baby. He always has been. He laughs a lot. <laughs> he plays a lot. Um, he does stuff to get our attention to like try to make us laugh. So he's a little social bug. Um, oh, don't hit me, boy. <laughs> Stand up. Yay, Carson! Yay! Clap. Clap your hands. Clap your hands. Clap. Go, Carson. Go, Carson. Go, Carson. Go Carson, go. Oh, he also says go. He says go, go, go. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. One thing that Carson has done that I feel like my other kids did not do, he bites. Like, he has bit my nipple while nursing more than once to the point that I was like bleeding. I ain't never had that happen before. Honestly, I did not contemplate stopping like breastfeeding him. I knew I was going to keep going anyway, but that was like uh-uh um he still wears pampers of course we do regular pamper swaddlers um pampers or huggies pampers that's it any other time we try to use anything else on our kids they break out so we don't stray away from those um he does not have super sensitive skin Mwah. Mwah. he doesn't have super sensitive skin like can't stop Stop. Stop. It's not funny. Stop. He doesn't have... Y'all imagine us at church. Stop. Let go of my hair. I am not saying you are pretty short. Imagine us at church. Like this is life. Your nose is running. Um, and honestly, that's all I can think of. Making sounds. Say crew crew. We're crew crew. Every time I say where's crew crew, he starts like looking around on the floor for him. Oh, oh. 
He also will not sleep in his bed. Um, I have to sneak and put him in his crib for nap times. And when he wakes up, he's like furious. He will not sleep in his bed at night. Um, so, oh, another biggie. I always take my kids' pacifiers away at 10 months. We took kids away three, four days ago as of today, and he is doing perfectly fine without it. I feel like this age is the perfect age to take it away because I don't have to worry about him. Um, I don't have to worry about him um, noticing that it's gone, so he hasn't noticed a difference since we took the pacifier away. And like I said, he's doing perfectly fine. But he is attacking the camera right now, so I'm gonna end the vlog here, or end this video here. And that is Mr. Carson. If you guys have any other questions regarding him, let me know. I know I said this before, but we are seriously done having children. Um, he is our last and, and final little blessing, right? Right? Y'all should see him smiling right now. <laughs> yes. He's our last little blessing. Ah, do not.